Welcome to the Prudential Center in the Back Bay area of Boston, Massachusetts. Today is the reopening day of the Back Bay to Boston Logan Airport Shuttle by Massport. It's been suspended since the beginning of COVID, um, so I'm gonna ride it and see what it's like now that it's back. I have two questions. One, what type of bus will it be? Will it be the articulated blue ones that they run on their in-airport shuttles or the Logan Express buses that go far out that are like coach buses? Two, you can apparently pay uh, $3 online or with the driver. I did not pay online. I wonder if they'll accept cash, credits. Uh, I have a $5 bill. Will they give me change? Well, I'll find out soon. The bus is scheduled to be here in three minutes. Well, if these things blocking the stop get out of the way. An important note is it is only $3 toward the airport. On the way back, it is free. Apparently, your uh, ticket also gets you to the front of the airport security line, but I am not flying today. I am just reviewing this route. Okay, so that bus that just passed was drop-off only. There should be one picking me up soon. Um, and yeah, they really should add to their website that it's credit only because there is no cash allowed. Um, so that would be a good fix. So I have just scanned my ticket. Apparently there is always someone staffing here, which is, seems like an interesting use of resources. But... Uh, yeah, because it's just a bus stop. Okay, this was supposed to be here at 6.30. It is 6.45. It is still not here, so it's going to be at least 15 minutes late. I think I see the bus turning the corner. It is nice and warm on this bus. Well, momentarily, the traffic here isn't great. The interior of this bus is decently comfortable. It's not super nice. It's just like basic city bus. According to Google Maps, this journey makes one stop at Back Bay Station before heading to Logan Airport, where it serves all terminals. Oh, we are to the plane, so I guess we're not making that stop. Come to think of it, there was already a person on board when I got on, so I think they actually make the stops in the reverse order, and it goes um, Back Bay Station, and then the Prudential Center, and then the airport, rather than uh, what Google Maps says. Okay, so if you're wondering why we got on I-90, the Massachusetts Turnpike West, when Logan Airport is east, it's because the configuration of on-ramps uh, near Back Bay and Copley is that there are only ones going west. So we had to go west. Um, there happens to be a turnaround not too far west, so we took that, looped around, headed back east, so we didn't have to go uh, all the way on local roads to the nearest place where there's an eastward on-ramp. This low floor bus does get a bit bumpy on the highway. Though the low floor makes it good for accessibility. I think we're drop off only because the driver just asked what terminals we're going to and it 
only stopping there and bypassing the other terminals, which saves time and is nice. So we don't stop at the main stop for the terminals where the uh, regular shuttles and Silver Line stop. We go to a special stop for the Logan Express and coach buses. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. now at Logan Airport, Terminal E. Uh, the driver did confirm that it serves Back Bay Station before the Prudential Center, which is the opposite of what Google shows. But um, yeah, I, so I guess I haven't ridden the full thing, but I've ridden most of it. So I think that is enough to give it a score. As I ride my Silver Line home, let's give that a score. Uh, well, first of all, it left like 17 minutes late um which wasn't very nice but the tri total trip time was just 23 minutes much faster than any other option from that area um given the that the speed the three dollar fare is acceptable especially given that it's only uh, in one direction and the way back is free um you know, the fact that it went the wrong way down the Mass Pike at the beginning isn't great, but I get it. It's just the way the highway was designed to only have an exit in one direction there. Um, the low floor bus was a little bit uncomfortable, but it's fine. It's good for accessibility. Um, yeah, there's not really anything big to complain about. Uh, it does seem like a not great use of resources to have someone waiting at every bus stop to help people get on, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent service. Um, yeah, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment if you want to. Don't feel pressured, though. Bye.